wanted to let you know that I'm super, super excited to visit this place. It's like a Taj Mahal full of books, and I've been saving my money all summer so I could come and visit this place during August. So just welcome to the special place that I've been saving my money for. Here's our entrance, and let's go see if we can discover what this place is that I've been saving my money for to come and visit. Look, it is our Burke's Learning Common. It is our Burke's Learning Common. So welcome to the Burke's Learning Common. In a few moments, we will talk and discover what all that you can find in this Taj Mahal full of books. So our first stop on the tour is called the check-in area. And you'll notice it's right in the entrance of our Burke's Learning Commons website. And here we have a visitor. I wonder what she's doing at the check-in station. Looks like she has her library books ready. <laughs> She's scanning the Burke's barcode with the wiggly eye. And when she scanned it, it popped up on the computer. So when it made that beep, it looks like here's the title of her book. And it, it scanned on the computer and she knew that she had checked it in. Here she goes with another one. Oh, look, it popped up on the computer again. She's kind of eyeing her book. I'm not really sure why she's eyeing her book. She's pointing to some numbers on the spine of the book. 398. 39. Oh, look. I wonder if that has anything to do with all of these numbers on the side of the car. Here's a 3. Let's see where she puts it. She puts it on the shelf with the 3. So it looks like the spine has something to do with this cart. So it looks like if you have a book that has a three on it, you put it on the shelf with the three. And if you have books that have a four, five, and six, you put it on the middle shelf. If you have books with the spine that have the number seven, eight, nine, it looks like you put it on the bottom shelf. If you have a book that has an E on the spine, it looks like you put it on the E. And the F or FIC, and the B, so that's pretty interesting. We'll have to discover that a little bit more. Hey, Brooke Seagulls. Here I am back in the Learning Commons on my second day of adventure. And I just wanted to let you know our second stop for uh, today at the Learning Commons is the Everyday Learner Shelf. The Everyday Learner Shelf. And it's over here, if you can see, over here in red all of the boxes that are on the shelf in red means that you are in the everyday learner section and that's kind of our picture books you know picture books don't always mean that they're easy a lot of the picture books are hard so let's go and discover what kind of picture books we have i'm going to turn the camera around for you so that you can see so here we we start with a and we do go in abc order we have a here we are b and we're just kind of sh going along on the shelves. Ooh, somebody saw Clifford. We have a lot of Clifford lovers I can hear. Here we have our Arthur series. And when we turn the shelf, turn the corner, we come to another row of shelves. And we're still in the everyday learners because of our red box lets us know that we're in the everyday shelf area. Here we are, we're turning the next corner. This is our third row of everyday learner shelves, and here we are in our last row of everyday learner shelves. And I know it's the last row because down here we have the boxes X, Y, Z, and when I turn the corner behind me, I now have blue boxes. Blue boxes means that we are in the fiction area and we will discover that area tomorrow. Today, I just wanted to talk about our everyday reader, which is our red boxes. These are our picture books, Robert Munch. And if we kind of come over here to this corner, you will find Pete the Cat. You'll find Diego and Dora. You'll find Dr. Seuss and our little house. We have our adventures with the boxcar. We have gingerbread books. 
we have our two by two. We have more of our two by two. We have our called cot. And we have our chapter books. Some of our chapter books are a little bit shorter than our fiction area. These chapter books are kind of grouped together because we know these are chapter books that we will be able to read. We will be able to handle if the big fat chapter books aren't quite just right books for us. So if you're looking for a chapter book that's a just right book, you might want to come over and head over into this area. I can't wait to see you tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to go discover our fiction area. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, Brooke Seagulls. Welcome back to day three of our visit to the Taj Mahal of Books, which we also call the Burke's Learning Commons. Here we're going to discuss our fiction area, our fiction area. Now our fiction area are chapter books. Some of these chapter books are extremely lengthy. They have over 500 pages. So if this sounds a little daunting, a little too much, don't worry. I'll show you where those chapter books are that might be a little less intimidating. But let's discover our fiction area first because you might have second thoughts and decide you want to try some of these fiction books on this shelf. And just like in our everyday learner area, it goes by ABC. So here we have blue fictions. Fiction colors are blue, so anytime you see the blue box, the blue labels, our blue signs, you know that you're in the fiction area, and fiction is chapter book. So again, we start with ABC order, and here we have the A's, the B's. I know some of our girls really love the Critter Club. Here's the Critter Club. Headed out, Judy Bloom, Matt Christopher, those of you that are into sports, you might want to hang out with the Matt Christopher area. Bailey School Kids. Ooh, this is one of Mrs. Cruz's favorite. We have two shelves of Bailey School. And again, ABC order, E, F, G. You can see all of our G books. And we're headed over. Ooh, anybody see some? Here's a big old fat chapter book. I wonder who's going to check that one out. Strawberry Girl, we have a lot of kids. Ooh, the Guardian books, the Chronicles of Narnia. Judy Moody, do we have any Judy Moody lovers out there? She's going to be, here's the M, and she's up on the top shelf of the M's. Down there, Magic Treehouse. I know we have a few Magic Treehouse people out there. Judy B. Jones, here she is. She has her own shelf, and Captain Underpants. Harry Potter, ooh, the Goosebumps, A to Z, Geronimo Stilton. So we just keep going on and on. We turn the corner on and on, and then you'll come across our graphic, our graphic books, graphic novel books, and then we're at the end of our fiction area. So I'm just gonna give you a long shot. Remember, fiction area is what color? Fiction is blue. So I can't wait to check up with you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to talk about non-fiction. Remember, Everyday Learners is red. Fiction, chapter books, blue. Tomorrow we're going to talk about non-fiction, and non-fiction is going to be yellow. Bring your water bottle. It's getting pretty hot on this adventure. See you tomorrow. Hey Brooke Seagulls, here we are again on our adventure to the Taj Mahal of Books, otherwise known as the Burke's Learning Comet. So we've talked about everyday learners being read. We've talked about the nonfiction, I mean, I'm sorry, we've talked about the fiction area being blue. And today we're going to talk about the nonfiction, which is yellow. So here we are in the nonfiction area. You can see behind me, we have the magic school bus that kind of marks the beginning of our nonfiction area. So on the other side of our magic school bus, we have folklore, fairy tales, Greek mythology. And I'm trying to get the camera so you can just see how the aisle goes on and on and on. Plenty of books to choose from. When we hop over to the next aisle, as you can see, there is a sign that lets us know what we can find down this area. 
And here we go again. Magic school bus. We have careers, manners, community, holiday, planets. Anybody loving planets? And if we scroll on over to the next aisle, insects, spiders, weather. And again, if you ever get lost in our Burke's Learning Common, feel free to look at our signs so you know where the books are and where to find them. And here we go. See, nonfiction just goes on for miles and miles and miles. And here we are. Here's our last area. We have poetry, geography, and that marks the end of our nonfiction area. Hey, Burke Seagulls. So this is our fourth day of visiting the fantastic learning commons, and I wanted to give you a shot of our where the new books are held, if some a special events going on during the month, like if it's back to school, if it's winter holidays, if it's Thanksgiving, Groundhog Day, where you would find those type of books, along with the biography books, the blue bonnet books. I know some of you studied Texas Revolution, Civil War, and Texas history, so I want to give you a heads up on where you might find those books in our learning commons. So when you exit our nonfiction area, you'll see a group of tables, and this is where you will find our new books, along with our books that will display what's happening for the month. So you can see right now, we have all of our back-to-school books put up on shelves for easy grab, and then you kind of come down to the end of the aisle, and you'll see a sign that says, new. And that is where our new books can be found. So yes, we do have quite a few new books to get you off for the beginning of the school year. We come down to the next aisle, and we have Texas Blue Bonnets. Texas Blue Bonnets. And this is where you can find your Texas Blue Bonnet books, along with our Newberry books. So if you look down this whole aisle, you will see we have plenty of... Of Texas Blue Bonnet books to choose from. However, this isn't the current Blue Bonnet books. Those are housed in a separate area. These are our previous Blue Bonnet books. And if you just turn around, this is where you can find our biography section. And you see again that we have lots of biography books to choose from. And then when we step around the corner, you'll see a red cart. If you pull a cart, if you pull a book off the shelf and you're not exactly sure where to put it, you're just going to stick it on this red cart. And Miss Payne will shelve it for you in the correct spot. So if you come over to the other side, you'll see we've got some fantastic decorations. And that will give you a clue as to, hey, this is where our Civil War, American Revolution books are housed. So here we see, you can see we have a whole aisle of books to choose from. American Revolution, Civil War, Texas history, when you're working towards your Texas history tag. So that's all for this area. We'll catch you up on our next selfie stop. Well, Brooke Seagulls, it is sad to say goodbye, but here we've come to the end of our great adventure of exploring the Burke's Learning Commons. We started out with the check-in station and we're going to end with the check-out station. So anytime you come in to the Burke's Learning Common and you find your library books, be sure to head on over to the check-out station, type in your number, scan in your barcode, and if you have any, any questions or need any, any help, be sure to see Ms. Hinkabein, Ms. Payne, and they'll offer you some assistance. So we hope to see you soon at the Burke's Learning Commons.